pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Trustee Tromley. Here. Trustee Frederick. Here. Trustee Tromley. Here. Trustee Garrett. Here. Mayor Martin. Here. In a motion to approve the Village of Champlain Board meetings October 17th, 2016. So moved. Have a second? Second. Is there any adjustments that need to be made here? Well, there was some, uh, in my copy, there was some hand changes made. Were those taken care of, Brian? Um, just little typos. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah. yes. I didn't want to have to reprint the whole thing. Well, that's, yeah, that's we fine. appreciate that. <laughs> that's fine. It's all there, yeah. Was this like a little puzzle to make us look at it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, I flipped that page over and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can look at it. Yeah, it mm -hmm. works. Yeah. Just don't it's pull the page. Don't hold the pages over because then you get it. <laughs> <laughs> she was keeping us on our toes. One of those days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, believe me, we all have one. Is there any discussion on these? Yeah, but no. Good. Amy? No. No? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Need a motion to approve the Village of Champlain board meetings, board meeting minutes of October 31st. Removed. Have a second. Second. Uh, anything that needs to be changed here? No. Well, Pretty straightforward. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. Aye. Abstain. Obviously. Okay. Yeah. Give me and Kim will have to abstain. Mm -hmm. Very good. Presentation and petitions, communications, notices, general question period for members of the community. How you doing? Thank you. Thanks Good. Tommy James. What's new today? You look tired. You okay? Oh, well, basketball started today. So. Oh, oh, you're okay. sore. Can you stand? Can you do a squat thrust for us? Uh, <laughs> oh, you don't do squat thrust anymore. It's a different, it's a different it's word. That's right. I forgot. What do you got this. for us there, sir? Well, uh, I was thinking. <laughs> Some Sorry. Stuff for the like winter mm -hmm. and for the kids, um, like a snow fort building contest would be one. That's interesting. Yeah, that's um, like a snowman comp competition. Like who goes to snowman and gets prize. <coughs> um, like a running race type of thing in the snow. The frost or something. Yeah. And yes, then I was also thinking about like who can make the most snow balls in like a minute. Mm -hmm. um, and then for like Christmas, have like the kids wrap presents for people. That's a good idea. Yeah. And then I was thinking about this. Some kids wanted like a skate park around here, and I was thinking maybe possibly putting it by the Saint Mary, like on the Saint Mary's soccer field. Because some kids really wanted that, so. Then Did I knew you want to skate could... downtown? What? Did you want to skate downtown? There was just a couple kids that asked they want, they want to run. Just space? Yeah. yeah. Or little. Or maybe we work something out with the fire department or something and they can flood it. Oh, wait. No, I said no. skate. 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 Oh. skate. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now I understand. I'm sorry. Right. A little slow in the update. I think here. that's been discussed before about a skate park. Yeah. Yeah, we have. We the have. insurance is a huge piece. Yeah, I think that was a major issue. Yeah, we looked into that, didn't we? Yeah. The cost, we did. Um, well, so the cost is huge, but there's grants out there. Yeah. Um, you know, towns have done it. The liability is a big piece. I can tell you right now, it won't go up on the grounds of St. Mary's unless something has changed. Again, it's a liability. Um, you have so to have, have separate space insurance in the coverage for it. River Street Park, and we have space down by the playground. Mm -hmm. Maybe something small. Maybe we could start with something small. Yeah, that's pretty much all they wanted. Just, just something, something, right. Right. something for the no, teenagers. Water something water can run through. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. a permanent structure that. Yeah, he mentioned to one of the teachers that he was, you know, yeah, part of this. Mm -hmm. and Told the class. She, and yeah, let kids know. So a couple of them mentioned skateboards. 
James, do you have kids that are interested in wrapping gifts? It was just a thought. I okay. Mm -hmm. Because I have a suggestion for you. Um, if you do have kids that are interested in wrapping gifts, the Christmas Magic Program is very, very big. Um, and Cindy Bombardier and Roxanne Downs do that. You could get in touch with them. They Big Dogs Coffee Julie, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they might be, um, they might be if kids had to do community service for There's a few um, groups at the school that they helped out with Mom's Day to play with us, the Builders mm -hmm. Club and mm -hmm. the, the Key Club. So, yeah, so if they, you know, I know yeah. a lot of schools have to do community service yeah. every single month. I don't know if Northeastern does that, sure, but a lot of the school in Plattsburgh. Yeah. Yeah. kids to do recycling and trash. Yeah. Okay. But that would be something yeah. if kids did, I know for confirmation they need mm -hmm. to do it. But the schools, a lot of schools in Plattsburgh have to do so many hours right. every month. So that may be something. Pretty good. Sounds like you got a pretty good response. Yeah, those are great ideas. Yeah, they're yeah, they're excellent. Yeah. I like the idea of the winter things. Yeah, I think we should. I think a winter carnival. Yeah, winter yeah, carnival during the week of break, if you get an idea yeah. of how many people yeah. are going to be around. and. Mm -hmm. um, it depends if we get snow. Well, that's a big oh, piece. Yeah. That, yeah. Is, that is true. We miss it, we miss it last year. Probably to. won't miss it this year. We're going to break in February, too, though. Yeah. There's a week off. So because you could, you could do, you know, hot cocoa uh -huh. and cookies, something like that would be, that would be nice. It would yeah. be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Good job. No, oh, that's excellent. Excellent ideas. Excellent ideas. Excellent ideas. Excellent ideas. Excellent ideas. Yeah. Those are good. They start out small and build. You know, as more and more people get involved, it'll, it'll continue to grow. Mm -hmm. And that'll be great. <clears throat> Bring a lot of folks downtown. Mm -hmm. you know, activities like that attract a lot of attention. Great ideas. Hopefully all good. All right. Any questions for him? Well, thank you, sir. Thanks. Yes, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate your time. Yes, appreciate it much. Um, I, I had one more thought. I know we always do the Christmas tree lighting mm -hmm. in the park. Mm -hmm. It might be nice if there was a group of young people there to help with Christmas caroling. Mm, that would be good. Yeah, singing. Adolescence. <laughs> well, <laughs> no. there's, there's strength in numbers. Well, we had the Girl Scouts last year. Oh, oh. Sang it up, and uh, yeah. it and so if we can, that and that really was, that was yeah. great. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they may want to do that. Yeah. 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 Reach out to Thank you. Do you think you'd get any kids that want to play Santa's helper? I'll help hand out the gifts to the little kids. You try. Yeah. See. Okay. I mean, because yeah. that would be great. A mm -hmm. lot of kids come. I mean, last year was incredible. Yeah. yeah. I think Santa will be there. I could try to maybe put out the announcements. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be yeah, yeah. help. <coughs> or Builders Club is that maybe that? Is that this um, is cast iron? Yeah. Is that okay? I can fly well, her first period, so I'll talk to her. Yeah, why don't you talk to her and ask her if she could ask the Builders Club? Great ideas, though. Yeah, that's great. Sure. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Mr. Tedro? Um, they have my report. There's not a whole lot new. Zoning board action, a little bit of enforcement here and there. And a few complaints. There's no new um, stores coming in that I'm aware of anyway. Um, there's one thing that did come up this week. I was talking with the mayor earlier. And this came up in March and that was this cell tower that this company wants to put up downtown. And I was looking at the, the local zoning here again, and I know you had mentioned something about wanting to look at your zoning at some point in time. It's been a long time since anything's ever been done with the, the village zoning here. So I don't know when your budget season comes up. Uh, I know that River Street Planning Group <coughs> does a lot with that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But the zoning is, is very basic here. We, we're lacking for definitions and, mm -hmm. and, and stuff that you need if you have cases that you need to proceed through the legal system. So it's just something to think about. Other than that, I... What's, what's the uh, cell tower then? Well, they want to put a 120-foot tower up downtown across from the park for uh, broadband, some sort of 
um, telecommunications. I'm not sh not exactly just sure if it's a cell tower or just off the road, just off the sidewalk. But it would be it would be in, in the state right away, which I find kind of odd because the state would have to basically, you know, give them their blessing for it. And dealing with the state anywhere else in the village has been a nightmare. So I don't know how this. They claim they have a right of way through there. Well, I, that's not something I'm aware of. Why was that location? So no, that's, I can't figure it out. It's the lowest point in the village for a, re, a, a reception tower. I mean, you would think you'd want to be in the highest point. But, I mean, we're in the... I, I thought the application went away. It was in March they applied. And I get an email today, and they want to know where their, their permit is. You got no permit. You know, you got to go through the zoning board here. Is this somebody local or? No, it's uh, they're out of a mobile light or something. It's some big company. Uh, you know, so I sent her the information and they have to go through the zoning board, then the planning board, obviously. So there's a lot of hoops to jump through yet, if it ever, if it's going to happen. Um, the, the zoning board would be a, a use variance, which it's typically. I mean, they would have to prove a financial hardship as one of the use variance tests, which I'm not sure how they make, meet that requirement. Do they own property near this location? No, it's in the right way. <coughs> yeah, I, you know, I, the whole thing is kind of vague right now, but the thing is, is we don't really have any, other, other than the use variance, that's the only protection we have. So, might be something you want to look at in your, in your zoning. Or, or just the planning then. Pardon me? How would this apply to planning board? Well, the planning board would look at it for visual impacts. Uh, are they going to have beacons on it? I mean, is it going to impact the neighborhood? Is it going to fit with the neighborhood? Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. Not the vision. I, I mean, I, I can count a million reasons why this should not go there, but I don't get to make the decision. So. <laughs> it's interesting if they pursue this through the state because it is. As you said, that's been a that's been a difficult uh, part to deal with. Well, the, the, the thing out. is, and I mean, Tom Bernays, the, the the attorney for the village, and I've worked with him a lot at the town on similar things. And when somebody wants to put something on someone else's property, generally you have to get a form of permission from them, you know, in writing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm not putting something on, on your lawn that you don't know about. Um, so that's why I say for them to get something from the state, I mean, unless I, there's something here that I'm not seeing, I, I don't know how that's going to happen. Because, I mean, look what we go through with the water project, just to put a, a, a pipe in the ground. I there. know. I, I, now here we're going to put a base for 120 foot of antenna in, in the state right away. Maybe when you come in on Wednesday, let's, let's make a call to Will. Yeah. And see what he thinks about all. Of it. Will is the guy who issues the permits for the for the on the state highways for. Okay. Mary brought up a very good point. How would something like that impact the transmissions for our cameras and things like that? That might be an issue. Well, there, there's a lot of different things that the planning board looks at. I mean, that is one of them. Um, there's a whole list in the, in the zoning book. Mm -hmm. Got a huge um, tower right over here. Yeah. I personally don't see how they make it through a use variance down there, but th yeah. that would kill a project right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I don't, even, I don't even see how they got permission to put it in the city right away. I think this is just wishful thinking. At this it point. sounds like a no, but I think we should have some sort of protections in your, your zoning for I, this. I agree with you, Mike. Yes. Uh, I mean, we need definitions of what antennas are, as far as <coughs> microwave dishes. There's all sorts of, of stuff out there today that. Some of these companies try to circumvent to get around. Um, so if you don't have a clear definition, you, you lose your case in court. Um, if they do get around you, I mean, you can at attach fees to these things that, well, if you're going to put it, you're going to pay for it. Um, typically, cell towers, if they're adding an antenna, you get a $3,000 building permit fee. If it's a new tower, it's 5000 So, you know, you, you can do something with that if you can get them to put it somewhere else. I mean, we have two water towers here. Why don't they put this up there? You sell them space. I know. There's properties up on top of Prospect. It would yeah. make more sense. And yeah. Downtown. Well, I mean, certainly the company would want to put something smack dab in the middle of your downtown. 
So yeah. that's the whole, that's the mystery. <laughs> that's the mystery of it all. Yeah. Why put something in the lowest part of the building? Yeah, I don't think this is really a worry. That's a concern management. Yeah. I don't think it's a worry, it's just, it's really right. it's mind-boggling. Yeah. Well, no, but there are other things in the zoning that, like I said, it's been a long time since uh, <coughs> Ben Lugwell and Nikki works in it. Um, it's 2016 here, I think we need to... Yeah, update it. You know, I mean, you, you could probably get some ideas from River Street what an update would cost. Yeah. And She's figure, I mean, if you do it in stages, it's not so bad as if you try to do it at one time. And, you know, you get good maps and everything. So. Before I retire, I'm willing to put the time in on evening meetings and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if it's anything like the water project, Mike, you got six or seven years to go before you yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I have a question for Mike. Sure, sure. The yellow building downtown with the corner that is literally going to fall on that sidewalk at any time. The, the engineers looked at that way back, oh, maybe two, three years now. Uh -huh. um, the, the blocks, they're... They're not part of the, the construction that holds the building up. They're just a facade, basically. What's happening is the water is getting into that and, and, and frost action because there's no heat in the basement and ground movement is... Eventually, it's going to fall, yeah. So, what liability, God forbid, somebody is walking by when one of those things fall, do we have? My concern is that even in the past year, I drive by that building twice a day and you literally look at it from six months ago and it's out even further. You know, what liability does the, build, the village have if something happens? I would think it'd be the property owner. The property owner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it saddles, all buildings saddle and with no one being in there, no heat, it, obviously it's going to be a lot faster go through the, the, the different uh, climates. You know, spring, fall, and Can fall. we get the property owner to do something about it? It's extremely unsightly. Here we are, we're talking about a, you know, village revitalization, and we literally have this building falling apart in front of us, with a building across the street that's falling apart in front of us. But this one, we at least have a landlord, landlord that's here. We can send them letters and we can try to, to get something done, but based on past performance, I'm guessing that little to nothing. These people don't seem to want to put money into these buildings. Uh, and unfortunately, you know. this is this is not a good situation with yeah. this building. Yeah, because the ownership has changed. And I yeah. think he's trying, but... That's what I was going to say. He might actually be more responsive. Yeah, I, yes. think I think he is trying. I sent him the engineering report well, a couple months back. He asked for it because at that time he wanted to bring the apartments back in mm -hmm. to play there, and that requires going through the zoning board again. But I, he has not applied, or I never heard anything more after that. So, and I haven't seen anything going on in there. So I, but I can send him a letter. Is there anyone living on the? It, the building, the right there's side and there's right two side. buildings yeah. there. The ones on the right, there's two apartments. That's a separate building. It's not all one building? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. There's two oh. separate buildings. It looks as one, but it's two it's separate. It's okay. owned by the, uh, well, it's, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if the, the guy you, you think of owns that one or if it's his grandfather. I'm not sure about that. Uh, it's well, it's Ryan turned everything over to Ryan. Yeah, well, then yeah. he would be the owner there. Yeah, actually. It would be him because he, he repaired the stairs on that yeah. one side. Yeah. yeah. It might be worth just a letter to him, just saying, you know, kind of stating Expressing our concern. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I can do that, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And we've got the corner building, a lot more broken windows, um, church and <clears throat> main, a lot more broken windows in that um, up on Oak Street, because I kind of walked around the property. <laughs> The basement is open. Kids are getting into that house that's oh, up for sale. On Oak Street, which, where is it? Um, on the right, the... Um, Mars 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 yes. They were just there this weekend. 
No, people are going into the basement. The basement door is ajar. The boards were pulled away from the basement. There's alcohol bottles. There's, they're in there. So, um, and the big brick one? The big, beautiful brick one, yeah. Well, but I, I know for a fact that he was there this weekend and somebody was looking at the property. Yeah, so there were a couple yeah. people that were there yeah. looking at the mm -hmm. property, but no, this is, you know, the storm door off on the left side of the property in the back. Mm -hmm. um, the boards were pulled away from oh, the, yeah. the entry. This the door the was ajar, mm -hmm. um, and when you look in the windows, there's alcohol bottles or there's people getting in there. So I don't know if they noticed that that back entry is open down in the basement to get into the house or not, but um, just have some concerns there. Because when well, Paul and I went it, for a yeah. walk, people were looking in the windows there. Mm -hmm. So we, on our way back, walked around the property and, you know, we saw that that was opened up on the side there. Did he purchase it? Juanita, did he purchase it? I have no idea, but I know seems, they were there this weekend. Seems like the owner would be very would be responsive. He lives to in the yeah. He's a Canadian. He seemed like a nice guy. Yeah. The owner, the guy. Yeah, I mean, not Canada. that someone would know that, right? Yeah. You know that that's been pried open. I mean, it's not Somebody's like it's looking at the property. It seems like they would have closed the doors or would have. Yeah, but no one would have gone in there. Yeah. So there's planks over the basement entryway, you know, the storm, the the storm. storm. The yeah, storm. right, so, and the one plank is pulled away, and the cellar door was ajar, um, there's nobody looking at a house that's going to go in the basement that way, unless they're really, mm. wanting, you know, yeah, the cellar there, well, I'll check it out on Wednesday, yeah, see what's, what's there, yeah, so, it, it just, it worried us, so I wanted to make sure, <laughs> and the other question I have is, we still have several properties uh, walking around the village that never did get mowed, and it's not fair. It's not it's not right to the residents who are keeping up their properties, and these people are on their sides. It's a, it's unsightly through winter as it is with the heaped over, rolled, dead, or people now that are mowing just the front of their yards, and they've created a field in their backyard. Um, it, it's not okay. So there seems to be several on prospect that were issues with that. Um, where that behind would. the property, um, and then the folks on the left, that, that's been abandoned, the bank owns it forever. But it's unsightly. It's just unsightly. Some of them are owned by the bank, and Mary and I, we emailed the banks. and. But I thought we were going to mow. I thought that was going to be our decision this year. We weren't going to let this go. And, you know, we're at the end of the season. and Well, we did some. It's yeah. awful. We did, we did some out in the, the summer front. we did them. Bank-owned properties are a nightmare. I mean, just trying to, 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 to deal with them, to get them to do anything. You know, the state passes all these great, wonderful laws that don't apply to, to anything that we have here mm -hmm. as far as foreclosures. So again, we're on our own. Sometimes we can do some of the front, some it. of the front lines, but the workload is just. Yeah. I'll take the blame. And and is there any avenue <coughs> for um, you know these folks that decide to just let the taxes be assumed by the county? If that's not going to take care of their property, but yet they own other property. Why cannot these bills and these delinquencies be added on to their other properties? And, you know, what can we do to change law to, to protect their other residents who are doing their job, who are keeping up on their homes, who aren't buying up these properties and aren't doing things with it? And then, okay, well, I just will stop doing any work on it and let it go to taxes and let, you know, yeah. everybody else living here pay for it. Well, we can't, we can't transfer the liens from one property to another. No, but what could yeah. we do as, you know, a group here, as an entity, and in expressing our concerns, and to whom would we go to on this to, to get some change? Because this is not okay. It's not okay oh, for I people agree. to come in and buy these properties and do nothing with them and create an eyesore and deplete the appreciation value of everyone else's homes that live around them because it's awful and yet they own other properties that are in the same similar condition but we'll just let them fall in and we're not going to pay that either. 
I have, I have concern. I think that we as a group who are trying to make a difference in our village need to do something and, and voice our concerns with this. That's the way the laws are written. Though. Yeah, the and problem is we're not the ham only it hampers town anything or village. That we no, and I get that. But, but if we remain so silent, nothing will ever change. We have to talk to Betty Little. Okay. We have to talk to, well, it will be Billy Jones. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we need to have a meeting with them. Yep. And we'll go to Plattsburgh where their offices are and we'll meet with them. Yep. And we'll say, this is how we feel. It needs mm -hmm. to change. Mm -hmm. And we'll become active. That's the only place that's only to start. It's exactly what we have mm -hmm. to do. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I'm happy to go. Whoever wants to go with me, I'm happy to go. I'm too. Just let me know. Okay. But I think, if, you know, we remain quiet, nothing's going to change, mm -hmm. you know. And we've made so many changes here. <laughs> and it's just very frustrating when you walk around and... I agree with you. Mm -hmm. You know, your frustration just grows mm -hmm. because nothing well, changes. There's been properties here that we've been trying to deal with for the last two or three years. Right. And, and we're just... It seems like every time you turn a corner, there's a roadblock there. Mm -hmm. But I agree. Let's tackle it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all. Sorry. That's good. <laughs> Anything else for Mike? Yeah, what's going on with the Willow Street property? Willow Street. With, with there was like chickens, ducks, and peacocks. That's in the hands of the court. It was a uh, court date last week, and I don't know the results of it. The judge wasn't in today. I didn't realize they had other fowl there besides peacocks. Oh, yeah. The menagerie. Mm -hmm. Two feathers. It's all very yep. foul. Feral. Feral peacocks. How many peacocks do they have? Just the one. Just the one. The one that was roosting on so yeah. Okay, that's all I want to know where that was at. <laughs> See where it got us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that way we're avoiding it. Okay. Anything else for Mike? I have nothing else. Okay. Uh, good evening. It's with, uh, it's with guarded optimism that I can report that the water softening plant <coughs> will be built beginning in the spring of 2017. On Wednesday, November 9th, the town board approved moving forward on the project, barring any unforeseen objections, awarding the contracts after a 30-day waiting period, and getting this final piece of the shared water project in place. This is a benefit to all affected by the project, both village and town users. I would like to be the first to invite all to our annual tree lighting on December 10th in Pocket Park here in the village. We will have caroling, activities for the children, warm beverages, and as always, we will have a visit from Santa for the children's enjoyment. This is always a good time for those, for those who attend and helps get everyone in a holiday spirit, so please plan to attend on Saturday, December 10th at 6.30 p.m. To all, have a great holiday season, both Christmas and Thanksgiving, and enjoy all of the events planned for this time of year. Check the village website for events, times, and locations of all seasonal events. Thank you. Does that surprise you so fast? Mm -hmm. right. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gary. <laughs> so while we're talking about festivities, um, tree lighting or home decorating contest yes. uh, will be evaluated the week of December 11th, a uh, week earlier this year. Um, and get the news out so people can uh, come see the homes that are the winners. Again, there'll be three categories. <laughs> I, I'd like to do something different <coughs> with it this year, but I can't figure out what to do because I don't want to offend anybody by saying, you know, okay, let's do the Griswold Christmas house and let's do, you know, something different. So we'll probably keep to something simple, but I thought that we would add in a category. Um, for folks who are renters, since we have quite a few renters within the village, of like a, a window decorating, something more simple that, you know, you're not going to put the expense into decorating your home, but open it up. Um, but then again, I don't know whether they watch this and, you know, would participate in it, or if they go to our website. So maybe we can test it, um, throw that added category out. Um, 
for folks that, you know, if they just want to do a window, best window um, display um, for the holidays. Uh, but we'll do the traditional um, daytime, um, best lighting, and overall presentation. They'll seem to go over well. So, but I'd like to throw in that additional category um, for best window if, you know, somebody obviously does it. Mm -hmm. So if we can get word out there that just a possibility to open up. We'll put it as part of the event page. Yeah. Because not everyone can do their whole home. Yeah. You know, especially mm -hmm. if you're in a rental situation, you don't want to, it's a lot of money to, to decorate the home. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> you know. <coughs> ah, ah. So, and not all of us change it other than the Patries every year who create new beautiful displays and paint different Amazing. every year. God bless them. So, come to 7 Chestnut Street. We are shaking it up this year. We're doing new and different things. <laughs> yes, I see. Oh, yes, 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 no. Yes. That's too early. Do not decorate till December 1st. You'll be disqualified if your stuff is up before okay. December 1st. New rule! I started. I know! Oh, Paul almost went to the door and said, take those reindeer down! It was, no, nice to it was a matter of it wasn't no. 20 below zero. I know. You know. But that's part of the fun. You're out there, your fingers are falling off. No, there you know. is no fun in that. I'm sorry. You're trying to tie on those things and you can't feel the fingers anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> What's that? I saw it. He only decorates under the rest when his granddaughter's coming. The rest will come later, though. I just have to get that stuff out. Because the ground was still, you know, you could put the stakes in the ground. Yeah. So if all of a sudden you see something's happened to your reindeer, just knock on the door. It's Paul. I'm going to see my new moose walking down the road. So that's it. We'll try to do a couple new things. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Um. Okay, so as you're aware, we um, got the documentation in place to award the bid and everything. And just for an update, DS uh, specialties were here. The doors are on, on order with a four-week lead time, so they should be about three weeks out from now. Uh, the windows should be approximately two weeks out from now, and as soon as the windows are any plans on starting. So two to three weeks, we should see construction. Good. Good. Too bad it wasn't this week. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. Next week's going to be nice, too. 50s. Really nice. nice. Wow. This window's first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got first bids on that one. Yeah. 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 I mentioned to him that we'd like to have yeah. you know, this area done first. Yeah. Um, we'll see. Yeah. Where are your woolly tights? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. We'll put up with that. <laughs> so, Wait. anyways, that's, uh, that's all I have to report is an okay. update on that. That's good. That's okay. And, and thanks for you know, taking care of Bayside because it looks looks like we got everything pointed out. I think they did now. a pretty, I think they did a good job out there. Yeah. That was very good. Thank you. Janet. Um, a couple of events coming up. Uh, this Thursday, seventeenth, from three to six p.m. There's a, a workshop on how to uh, change your insurance. <clears throat> and at six thirty is the book club meeting, the monthly book club meeting. What time is the insurance in? Uh, 3 to 6. On Wednesday, November 30th at 6.30, there's a presentation by the Rural Law Center on Wills and Power of Attorney. When is that? The 30th, 30th? Wednesday, the 30th at 6.30. Okay. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, December 4th at 3.30, Mary McCaffrey is going to perform music. And to add a little bit of information about the um, holiday festivities, we'll have the wreath decorating contest again, and you can pick your forms up in the office starting December 1st. Um, in addition to the tree lighting on the 10th, we'll have the kids' activities from 1 to 3, at the meeting house and we'll have the candy cane hunt at the playground at three. Hope you're there to help me again, Amy. I will. Three, it starts? At three. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's um, your theme for the race? What's that? Do you have a, <coughs> a 
theme for the wreaths? The theme for the wreaths is a book, a book title. Mm -hmm. um, and just a few things that are in the planning stages right now. Um, there's a group that wants to go Christmas caroling. I know we're going to have some singing at the tree lighting, but this group wants to go around a neighborhood. So I'm just trying to get that set up. Um, and there is quite a bit of interest in having a writer's workshop. So um, I'm talking to a couple of writers about coming to the village and holding like weekly or bi-weekly workshops on developing writing skills. Um, and as far as the waterfront revitalization, uh, we had a meeting where we started to refine some of our directions and we decided that we should focus primarily on things that we felt were fairly attainable so that we could see some progress. So we're going to um, try to work on the Bridge of Flowers. Um, what were some of the other things, Nikki? Um, we talked about the other bridge. Yeah, we talked about the other bridge. Um, zoning is top yeah. on the list. We know the zoning has to be dealt with. We might reinforce that. Um, we'd like a professional design for the playground and Bill Earl Park mm -hmm. to tie them together with the flower bridge kind of the center. So they ha I know they have some ideas, but we'd like it really pulled together for us so we could see where we could go. Uh, Jim, where are we at with the painting of that bridge? Where did it, did I, I it, sto it stopped because there was lead. And that's where it stopped. I was not going to come in and repaint that bridge. Right. No. No. It would be too expensive. I think you're just kind of sitting there waiting until it becomes structurally unsound. They replace it. Uh, they can replace it for, I think the, the number was 1.25 million, and it would be about 350,000 to repaint it. Right. But you notice that there are a couple bridges that they have been. Wrapping, you know, wrapping, whatever it is that they use underneath it to catch the stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's not structurally; it's it's still in very good shape. It is, so, but it's flaking off and yeah. going into the river. Yeah. So actually, so, uh, let me give you a little more information on these bridges, not to interrupt, but um, the consultant sent me the uh, list of the bridges in New York State and where ours ranked. And the Elm Street Bridge is rated, out of seven, is rated of 4.73, which is actually below five and under is considered not good. Okay. Not terrible, but not good. Um, I have that document and I'll, I'll forward it to all of you so you can see it. Um, the Main Street Bridge actually is not that great either. In fact, that's why they keep working on it every summer because it's not good. But that was supposed to be replaced. It was targeted to be replaced. Mm -hmm. It's not on the list to be replaced, but it is on the list that it needs yearly maintenance because of the traffic. Um, the Elm Street Bridge is considered bad because it's too narrow for the traffic that crosses it. Right. And it says no through trucks, but, you know, I don't know. I mean, we don't really have through. They stop at Kimbucks. Yeah. But we have a lot of truck traffic on that bridge. Mm -hmm. I would love to see a low weight limit on there that would make them go on Route 11. But you know more about They're truck supposed to go on Route 11. They're not supposed to cut across over there. Well, I don't think if they're actually breaking any laws. I, I looked today to see if there was a weight sign. There's no weight sign. No. It just says no, no through trucks. Right. And they're not really going through because they stop, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So anyway, the, the bridge information is very interesting because the, the consultants were hoping that the Main Street Bridge was undersized because if it was undersized, they would replace it and that probably would stop some of the jams, the ice jams, but it's not on the list. <coughs> but it was a couple years ago. <coughs> Because what, three, four years ago, it was targeted to be done. It was coming up. It was going to happen before it's not your time. It's on the list now. Huh. Oh, I wonder how that got changed. Probably too many others came on the list. Critical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, so they just keep the same. So, they just, yeah. Yeah. so that's why they're here every summer. So it, was, it was on the list, and then it wasn't. So. Mm -hmm. All right. 
So I could go on and on forever about this, um, but our next meeting is December 5th with the consultants. You're always welcome to come if you'd like to come and listen to them. Um, they're really great. Uh, I think they're really great meetings. We all feel really good when we leave um, that there's a vision and a possibility of changing some things. For what time is that? 6.30, 6, 6, I think I said 6, didn't I? Because Julie said she might be late. Yeah, 6 p.m. At the meeting house? No, here, here. So I'll stop because I could go on for too long about it. Is there children's reading hour the week before, or are you yes. not having it because you're having the 10th? Uh, no, first, no, first Friday is first always Friday? children's yeah. story hour, right? I think so. Right. Second. No, it'd be second. the second, because the 10th is a Saturday, so yeah, yeah it'd be the yes. second. Yes, that's yes. right. Yeah. All right. Thank you. The only thing I have is that the um, Knights of Columbus, in conjunction with the Catholic Daughters, will be holding the um, Senior Citizens mm -hmm. Annual Christmas Dinner again this year. Um, there'll be more information coming out, but it will be on Sunday, December 4th. Um, maybe we can kind of get more information. We can maybe get it up on the website. Um, and it'll be called Gloria Tatro. Um, I, unfortunately, I don't have Gloria's number with me uh, to make reservations, but people could, people could always call St. Mary's Rectory um, to speak with Laura Trahan, the secretary there. Mm -hmm. um, but that is, that is on the schedule again for this year. December 4th. December 4th. Is that a, a, a dinner time or is it a lunch? No, it'll be a think serving at 4 o'clock. Yeah, it's yeah. like 3 or so 4. So it's the same as the music. It's 3 or 4. It's early. The elder, they like to eat early. I know, and I was hoping that it would tie in where we could say, now you can go listen to some music. But the music's at 3.30. Oh. Has anyone called Sheila at Northern Tier? There's a lot of folks there that would enjoy that type of outing. Um, I can get in touch with Sheila. Um, one of my Catholic daughters lives there, so mm -hmm. I'm going to bet Sheila might already know about it, but I will. Well, we have a gathering every morning, coffee type thing. So. Oh, nice. Okay, I will get in touch with them and let them know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I might add something to it. I thought when you were talking about the uh, Christmas caroling. The KFC is planning on doing the Hayride and caroling event. I don't have a date yet, though. Oh, darn. And, um, you need to coordinate on that. With the tree lighting, you mean? No, no, I don't want to schedule the neighborhood caroling on foot the same night as the <coughs> hay wagon. <coughs> you have a date for that, right? Uh -uh. Oh, you don't have a date? No, I just threw it out on Facebook today to see what the interest was. Okay. Uh, Yours is uh, usually later, though, closer to Christmas. He usually does it close to Christmas. Yeah. Okay, so that's a little bit better. I think yeah, like ours Sunday be, before Christmas. I was going to say, yeah, it's usually it's always the week. Sunday before. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I think we'll be more like <coughs> 14th or something like that. As soon as I find out, okay. I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. Whether, whether I'll whether see if I can find out soon. <laughs> that would be good because we really could list everything together and it's a lot yeah. more organized for people. I'll try to get over there. Can I add one thing to mine too? Sure. I forgot. Sorry. Sure. The library did have their open house. Um, there were half a dozen kids that came. It was nice. I would have loved to have seen more people there. Uh, but they had wonderful, huge range of activities um, that lasted for two hours. And you really kind of had to pull away some of the kids at the end. They wanted to stay. So uh, it was good to see. And they do, uh, um, they do a reading group um, also um, first, Saturday. first Saturday. So after the Friday night, it's the first Saturday. I wasn't aware of that. So um, they have a good turnout for that, too. Mm -hmm. They have a, a young mom that's doing that. And same structure, has a craft, has the story, um, had creative time of, um, which is really good. You might want to do this, too. Uh, they had these cards that all the kids held a card, and when it came their turn, they turned their card around and they continued the story. So they made up a story. Mm -hmm. So I really, really liked that. That was really cool to get the kids to use their imaginations. Um, 
So it was good to see um, the activity. We'll, we'll see. She's got a bunch of things planned. Did you get the pictures, by the way? Did yes, they? I did. Okay. I just haven't posted them yet. Well, I, I wouldn't know if you did. So. I, yeah. <laughs> so I took pictures. Know. That's good. And I can forward them to her to <laughs> post. These efforts will be ongoing. Say again. These efforts will be ongoing. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. What yep. time is that? Good enough. It's great. Mm -hmm. It's great. So, here we go. Yeah, I see she, she has a post on Facebook when, like the week before or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your turn, one of you. Everyone has their expense and revenues report for October of 2016. Um, Bye. We're doing very well with that. Okay. Does it work? Um, we have additional invoices to the warrant of $35,519.98. For a total warrant of $48,706.99, which includes our annual um, retirement bill, which is $34,018. Which are these three amounts here for NYSLRS, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. I make a motion to approve with the additional uh, invoices to be added for a total of $48,706.99. Second. Do have a second? Yes. Any discussion on this? Um, Juanita, the Jimmy Andres, the 193. Those are his work boots. Didn't he just get work boots? Has no. it been a year again? No, he got clothes. He got clothes. He got clothes last. He got clothes last morning. Yeah, he picked up some clothes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you're just flat by the way. We were walking in my house. We said, you know, you're up for election again. you got to go around and get signatures. I said, no, I did that last year. He goes, no, honey, you're, you're on the odd years. And I'm like, man, I'm really losing no, it. You're I not swear, not I right. just did it. Right. Right. I know, I saw the thing, but I can't wait to go tell him. <laughs> it's you, it's not me. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's losing track of time. <laughs> okay, there's no more. Trustee Trombley. Aye. Trustee Fetcher. Aye. Trustee Trombley. Aye. Trustee Gary. Aye. Mayor Martin. Aye. Okay. Um, you should have been copied with Mike's report. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I told him I wasn't going to read the whole thing. There's just a, a couple things that need to be touched on. Um, there is some. There is some concern. Uh, Mike has some concern over how the new water lines are being uh, brought into play. They seem to have difficulty getting them uh, getting them passed with the coordination and you know, getting the health department approval so that we can uh, we can move on. They've started to tie in some of the households, uh, and he will get back to as you look at the bottom here. He's been extremely, extremely busy with other issues. Uh, he's called away a number of times each day on this construction project. Uh, I think we're all going to be very happy to see the winter, the winter season come in here and construction stop until spring mm -hmm. to give him a chance to, uh, to get caught up a little bit on things around here. Mm -hmm. uh, had a couple water leaks, one on the Perry Mills Road, one on the street out here that uh, had to be fixed, obviously. There's going to be some, we seem to have these problems every time we flush the hydrants because of the fluctuation of pressures. And the pipes are, as we know, that this one out here from Ash Lane Drive down to Elm Street, to Pocket Park, is, uh, is, a, uh, is a line that needs a lot of attention. Uh, you'll notice the brush pickup paragraph here. Uh, it's been completed. We have this issue, it seems, every year 
with people bringing out a large amount of debris and we decided years ago that there were criteria that we were going to have <coughs> size of the branches, the amount that we were going to pick up, mm -hmm. uh, you know, things of that nature. And uh, it seems that every year we have to deal with this, where someone will bring out uh, a large amount, oversized, uh, that's not possible to pick up. I think we all agreed years ago that we would take one load from each residence uh, under three inches in diameter mm -hmm. as long as we could handle it safely. Uh, we've run into a couple situations where the where the uh, wood, if you will, the branches were too large. We picked up what we could and left the rest. And that's, uh, that's I think that's the way that we need to approach this mm -hmm. so that we can get a handle on this you know, um, mm -hmm. people are pushing their people are pushing their branches and debris up with tractors and expecting the village to pick it up. Well, this is a service that you deserve, as long as we can do it safely, as long as we can do it without harming our employees, and as long as we can do it in a way that's efficient for the village DPW. Uh, the tractors, why don't they just take it down to our, our site? Well, you would think that that would be the simple way to do it, but a lot of folks just figure, well, the village will come pick it up. And we attempt to, but there are limits as to what we can do, mm -hmm. and limits as to what I think the DBW crew should do. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it's up to the residents to take care of this. I mean, we'll come around and pick up your leaves, we'll come around and pick up the small branches, we'll take one load, as was agreed on years ago, and we will uh, we will move from there. I mean, <coughs> we have the pickup, we have the cleanup days, <coughs> usually the leaves are still on the trees, maybe we need to back that up a bit. Well, you this, know, year especially. this year especially, I know. <laughs> but pick up and you're still uh, green. Yeah. I, did, I just did some today. And it seems like every weekend it's the weather's halfway decent. Mm. The first thing that the, nice. uh, the first thing that the DBW crew has to do is spend a couple hours going around the village picking up stuff. And I, I find that that's okay. I'm glad that people are cleaning up their properties. But there's a limit as to what we can do. There, I'm done in a tour on anything. Mm -hmm. No, I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. I have the uh, correspondence, please. Correspondence from Donna Drew regarding the sidewalk plowing. JCO monthly report for October. Correspondence from Clinton County Treasurer regarding mortgage tax distribution. Correspondence from Clinton County Purchasing Department regarding sale of purchase computer equipment. We put in a, a request for at least one computer through this. Um, we need a laptop or a regular computer, a PC, one or the other. Uh, I put in a request for one or the other. You see the, um, the laptops are $5 a piece. Mm -hmm. The PCs are $10 a piece mm -hmm. with no monitors. So we have a spare monitor here. But we can use that. We can use that to hook into our surveillance system and have that on Mike's desk right there. And that's the only thing that will be that computer will be used for. Okay. So they should be, uh, well, it's next week, December, or not December, but November 16th, mm -hmm. and then they'll draw villages out of the hat, so to speak, and then we'll see. Okay. Under old business, uh, I haven't had the opportunity to sit down with Woody and Mike and uh, the engineers. I can pick up too, so you don't have to send oh, them okay. down to be paid to pick up the right. $5 computer since I'm in Plattsburgh every day. Right. That sounds good, thank you. Yeah. Uh, haven't had the opportunity to sit down with Woody and Mike and uh, talk about these blowers. I know that we want to, uh, want to get this process started so we can get perhaps spring construction mm -hmm. replacement. We have uh, a lot. We have some information on two or three different kinds of blowers and two or three different I, kinds of situations. I think is, is I, uh, yeah. I reviewed it and 
I'd like to sit down with the engineer yeah, to, sure. to, to discuss it because yeah. it's a lot to uh, digest. Yeah, there's a, a lot of things there. That, I mean, we can go back and look at the stuff that we had about four years ago or mm -hmm. so, but this is all some new science here. So. Yeah, I want to know about it. So if you if I could be yeah. part of that, it'd be we'll great. schedule that on Monday then. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay. All right. Um, under new business, we have a 2017 elections, Village of Champlain. Whereas the next village election for offices of the Village of Champlain, New York, will be held on March 21st, 2017. <coughs> Whereas the Board of Trustees, Subset Village, must designate the resolution and publish offices which are to be filled at such election and the terms thereof, then be it. Therefore, I hate these things, resolved <laughs> that the Board of Trustees of this village has determined the following offices to be filled and to be voted upon thereupon with the terms of such offices respectfully or respectively noted as follows. Trustee, term two years. Trustee, term two years. Mayor, term two years. Be it further resolved that as required by section 15-104-3A of the village election law, notice of said village election be given at least four months prior to said election date, and that the office to be voted upon at said election be likewise included in said notice. <coughs> this resolution shall take effect immediately. Do I have a, a motion to approve this? Tom, and do I have a second? Second. Okay, to approve this resolution as presented. Have a roll call, please. Trustee Trombley? Aye. Trustee McPatrick? Aye. Trustee Trombley? Aye. Trustee Garrett? Aye. Mayor Martin? Aye. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, if there's no further business, come before this board. Can I ask for a 60 second executive session? You sure can. Can, can I just... Sorry, leave? it will be 60 seconds. I'm sorry, I know you don't feel well. And, and then the only other thing is I don't want to beat a dead horse, but can we talk about how to advance this idea about zoning before I see the consultants again? Like, what, what, what do we do to make a commitment to at least go have the zoning in the downtown area be redone? I think we all agree that it needs to be looked at. Yeah, but I don't want to every month say that it needs to be done and, right. then, and then have this tower yeah. come and or something something else happen that's not covered right now that the zoning board approves and so then. So what do we what do we need like a workshop? So can we like do a committee to look at, you know, review the zoning and put suggestions in like we did with the personnel policy no. or thoughts? No, you need, no, the, I, you need the professional okay. to do it. And, so what are you looking and, for? I think they need to look at it and give their suggestions well, as to what would. Mo Monica Ryan, who is one of the consultants that's working with us from River Street, um, is very familiar with our zoning now because she's been studying it because of the revitalization. Um, she said that she thought the price tag would be around 8000 just for the downtown area. Rezoning? Or not for, rezoning, to, but to, to update. Update, update the zoning and include the new things, like Mike was saying, things that we don't even have in there. Well, we'd have to have, I mean, I think tonight you'd have to approve a resolution to spend this money. We certainly have the money to do so. I think we need to do I, that. And and it's something that needs to be done. I'm just nervous that Can we're going to keep comment? passing it on. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I was in Ralph's <laughs> Point, they did the very same thing. And at that time, you, you could do it in stages. That's what I, she's I, recommending. I, I think at the time, the total bill for the whole rezoning that they did, might have been around seventeen or eighteen thousand dollars, but the, you know, it was a six-month process, but this quite a few, start. quite a few meetings. So you don't have to do it all at once, but you you have to get started. Is the thing because you'll also have general code fees in there too, mm -hmm. along the way. That well, hour. yeah, if you put it on yeah. general code. Well, we have to change our code books, right? And every yeah. every code yeah. change is a fee. Yeah. Yeah. We can approve a sum that's above that, up to that amount. So why don't we approve an initial uptake of $10,000 or make a motion that we uh, invest 10000 of our um, fund balance to relook at adjusting our zoning laws. And with obviously input from Mike, his thoughts as well, um, 
of where he thinks it should be addressed. And this is what? Yeah, do we, do we go with this? Yeah. Well, I mean, I suppose, I don't know, do you, do you have to bid that out? Or, I mean, we're working with her already, no, you don't have so to she's familiar no, with it. You, familiar you, with you can do RFPs for it, but if you already have a, a sole supplier, and you're comfortable with them, I mean, you just generally go with who you're... Right. Right. Yeah, I feel very comfortable with her. And the other thing I might as well throw out is that this is part of matching. So if we, if we invest $10,000 in this and then we get a grant for matching, this counts mm -hmm. towards our matching of it, of okay. our, our next step in whatever we want it to be. Okay. So that's so another plus. Yes. I'll second Amy's motion, but... As we get reimbursed. <laughs> We will get reimbursed. I'm sorry that process is so slow. Okay, we have a we have a resolution to expend ten thousand dollars to use. Is it Bridge Street? Uh, Monica Ryan. Monica Ryan to review and update our zoning laws. Does River that Street. work? River Street planning. River Street planning. Okay. Does that work? Does that work? Yes. Have, and we have a second. Yes. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. Okay, thank you. Uh, I feel better about step. Make a motion going into second session. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. You start the timer for back in 60 seconds. Oh, it's a date. 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 60 seconds. Oh, it's a date